Hello everyone, welcome back to Romance Land. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I know what you're thinking. I'm on a bike, it's January 4th, that's super cliche. And yes it is, I'm gonna finish up the super bad workout, then we'll get to today's video. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about Nikon's newest announcement from CES, the 85 1.2 and the 26 2.8. What are my thoughts? What do I think about it? We'll go through the specs that we've seen at least online thus far. And also I'd like to make one slight correction. I had a couple folks comment on my video yesterday saying that the uh, specs that are on Nikon Rumors are basically just a clone, actually an exact clone of one of the Sony mirrorless cameras. But one other, one other thing though that is worth noting is that in the past Nikon has used uh, Sony sensors on their mirrorless cameras. So it's not ridiculous to think that they might actually be using another Sony sensor even though recently they patented a new one. I would highly doubt that that new uh, sensor is going to be going in anything coming up anytime soon. So if the Z8 is going to come out soon I imagine it's going to be on the back of a Sony sensor. And to be frank with you, if the camera had all those specs that were listed online, that would be pretty sick. I would still love a camera like that. So anyways, you might be wondering where I'm going today. I've got some old M42 glass in the bay behind me and there was actually a fellow that was looking to trade for those two lenses. And he's got this cool old Russian camera with a cool old Russian lens. And I thought, you know what? Oh, there's a trade behind me. That's good for audio. Um, Why not make the trade and uh, see what it's all about? All right, camera acquired. I traded my uh, Mamiya as well as my Chinon for this old uh, Zenit camera, which is a Russian brand with a uh, old um, Russian lens on it. So looking forward to getting that out. I've got some uh, free film left as well. So we'll put that in the freebie series. No more distractions. So let's get to the coffee shop. All right, so we've got some coffee at an awesome little coffee shop here in the West End of Calgary. I'm glad I'm sick. We've got great Korean food, great coffee. Let's get into the Nikon news about the new two lenses that they've come out with. So we'll go to Nikon.com because you know, don't need to go to Nikon Rumors because it's not a rumor. This is fact. This is going to be happening. So the first of the two lenses is an 85 1.2. And there were some um, leaks about this earlier on. People buying 35 1.8s and getting uh, 85 1.2 patent cards in their uh, box. So that's, you know, it's being kind of commonly known it was coming. Some people think Nikon did it on purpose. Other people think it was an accident. Who knows? Who cares? It's here. So the 85-1-2 um, is a beast of a lens. Like if you look on the page here, it's going to be pretty big. Um, and it's probably going to be really nice. You know, um, the 35-1-8 I used to shoot with was rock solid. It was super sharp. Um, the only reason I didn't keep it was I needed a zoom lens. And for the price, I basically built an entire kit for the cost of one Z lens. Um, and the other one that they're coming out with is the Z, it's a 26 millimeter 2.8, which almost looks exactly like the 28 2 8 that they came out with a while ago. It's just a bit thinner, um, obviously two millimeter difference. Um, between these two lenses, obviously the 85 is really exciting. Uh, it's gonna be their first um, 85 1.2 in the Z lineup as a prime, so that's really cool. And I mean, the pancake lens looks all right. If it's going for the same price as the other pancake lenses they came out with, that would be great. Um, the form factor does look maybe just a little bit thinner than uh, the 28 mil predecessor, but you know, to be honest with you, I'm not that excited about a 26 over a 28. The 28 mil was great, but it's a two millimeter difference. It's the same aperture. It's basically the same looking lens, to be honest with you. So, you know, at least for me, I'm not too excited about that. Um, the 85 one too, if I get my hands on it, that would be cool. I'd definitely give it a try. Um, but yeah, that's basically it on the two lenses. That's about all we know so far. Um, 85 one two S and the 26 F 28 So. Comment below, what do you guys think of these two new lenses? Are either of these gonna be things you add to your bag or are you gonna hold off? I don't think I'm probably gonna get either of these. Um, if I had to pick, obviously I'd get the 85-1-2 for um, portraiture, that would be great. Um, you're gonna get a lot of separation between your subject and the background as long as they're close enough to the camera. I think I'm gonna probably pick up the 85-1-8, the uh, FX version of it, cause it's a lot cheaper. But if I had a unlimited amount of money, um, I, would, I would totally go for this 85-1-2, it's gonna be Great. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so I guess this is as good of a place to leave it. Uh, what do you guys think of the uh, CES announcements from Nikon? Were you underwhelmed? Were you overwhelmed? What do you think it means for Nikon 2023? Are we gonna see a Z8? Are we gonna see a Rehau ZFC? I don't know, but uh, you know, comment below. Tell me what you guys like to see. Tell me what you think of the announcement of these two lenses. Are they gonna be something you'll buy? Is it something that you're gonna maybe hold off on? You know, comment below. As for me, I'm probably not gonna purchase either. 
because as you guys may or may not know, I use old DSLR glass adapted on the Z6. So even if I was to buy a Z8, I'd still just stick with my FTZ2. Anyways, folks, in the meantime, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Remember to take beautiful photos every single day. Don't do it for the views, do it for yourself. <laughs>